What is going on everybody? My name is Diamond or otherwise known as Coach Die, and in today's video we are going to be going over boost padding routes to help with your overall boost management while playing Rocket League. Now to kick things off we have the football route which is your primary rotation back to the third man position. It starts from the pad in front of the net and then it curves outward pretty much like a football right uh, looks like a football this is why i call it football um so you can also use this as a second man pat boost padding route let's say the, this player is making a play on the ball you can play as a supporting role by playing on the right side let's say he's more on the left side you can play opposite side and use the football from our boost you can then take mid boost after that but Overall, this is your primary rotation you should be using around the pitch. On defense, you want to be, or on offense, for as a more efficient emergency route, you want to be taking the mid lane route. This is the quickest way back. Obviously, it's a straight line. You want to be taking this route all the way back, and then you can then utilize rainbow, which I'll get into in just a bit, uh, to get to that back post position and ready to save a ball. Right, so mid lane's pretty self-explanatory. Those, these two, you probably already know about, right? Um, these are the beginner routes. Rainbow route is also one that is very familiar. It's the arch in front of each net. This is again your primary rotation to the back post position on defense. So if you are on the same side as the ball, let's say for some reason, um, you are this player right here. There's a guy in net. You don't want to be here. Um, on the front post backward you actually want to be rotating back so while you're rotating you can then intercept anything that's going mid he's covering the net he can then challenge the worst case scenario and then you're taking rainbow all the way back to the back post position this guy extends now he can probably be utilized as an extending play he can go to a mid position after that or even you can you can even fill if you want to do it a, a trust play at that point but that gets a little bit more advanced um, and I'll go over, you know, my rotation in, in a different video. But those are the pretty much the basic beginner routes to learn. Um, on offense, you want to be, you know, taking their routes as much as possible too. So anything on their half, you know, steal their football, steal their rainbow, right? Um, steal their mid lane, right? Everything on their pitch, you want to steal as much as possible. I would argue that this pad right here is the most important one other than the corner boost. Um, let's say these corner boosts are already stolen. I would then take this pad, this pad, and this pad. Because then when you let them push up further than that, it's actually kind of bad for them. Right? Um, so just a little tip right there. Make sure that you are stealing their rainbow, their football, you know, their corner boost, that, especially that pad. Um, we'll move on to the heart route now. So the heart route is pretty much... Um, football but you're not rotating to the third man position you are rotating to the second man position so we'll go over this scenario right here this guy means he's stealing the boost this means baiting the boost now baiting the boost is just a little bit um unnecessary in some situations like you want to steal the boost as much as possible but if you need to rotate back obviously bait it um that means just not taking it and then rotate back let's but let's say for the most part you are going to be taking this ball not the ball sorry the boost and then you are going to go for a demo okay then after the demo you are going to pick your poison pretty much right so you are going to go to the corner you're going to take football or you're going to take mid lane let's say you chose football and let's say your teammate is actually all the way back and he's taking corner or he's even in net at this point you want to actually turn to a second man position so you'll be there um to continue applying pressure if you, let's say, you went to go steal their corner boost, it wasn't there, and then you take this pad, and then you try to take this mid boost, and that mid, mid boost isn't there, you're pretty much here with zero boost, right? So you want to be taking the football route as much as possible when you are playing. The only time you should go out of your way for the corner boost is if you have time, your team has applied pressure, you are boost starving the other team, right? But nine times out of ten, you want to be taking this football route as much as possible right and then t maybe even cutting into a heart as a second man position right so that's that position here's cross now cross is pretty much your ball side rotation um you want to get out of ball side rotation right so let's say you are 
this player right here. You did your extending play, you demoed, and then you took this corner boost, and now you are here. But the ball is also here. But this guy is also challenging. You don't want to be like a conflict with your own teammate, right? So you want to cross at this point right here. If you are past this point, let's say you take the mid boost, then you're somewhat making a mistake and you have to cross a lot later. It's better to cross sooner than later, right? So we go for the ball, we cross. This guy can probably push up, you go, and then you can fill into a third man. If he doesn't push up, guess what? You can transition into a heart here, right? So you cross, transition to a heart, into a second man. You are there now as a second man player. You totally, uh, you made your situation a lot better instead of rotating ball side, going all the way back for, let's say, that corner boost, right? And not being in the play. So this will help with your boost pad management to stay in the play and continue applying pressure, right? Um, so the wide route is the last route I'm going to be talking about today. The wide route is situational, okay? You don't want to be doing this all the time. This is a very, very, very bad habit. This is why it's also, you know, highlighted red and there's yellow stopwatches. Now the stopwatches pretty much mean only take the boost if you have time and it really benefits the team, right? So for the most part, you want to be taking the football, like I said, but then you can go and take the mid boost. If you take the football, let's say these pads aren't there, then you can take the, the your own corner boost if you have time, right? But if you're taking this route, you are still remaining into the play and you are ready for those situations that are unpredictable, right? The only time I can justify this wide route is actually if, if there is a player chasing you and you are negating all the boosts from him, right? He's just chasing you and you're stealing all the boosts from him. That's the only way I can definitely see this route being well, because at, at that point, it's just a 2v2. Um, he's out of the play, you're out of the play. Trust your team, it's a 2v2, okay? So, but really, there is no reason for you to be doing this wide route, at least in the lower ranks. If you are, you know, a higher ranked player like GC or SSL, I can see you doing it sometimes. But again, try to utilize your football, your mid lane, your rainbows, your hearts, your crosses, and your wide routes. I hope you guys learned something today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.